Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today I'm going to show you an awesome laser gun that I built. Ever since I watched Styropyro's video on his 40 watt laser shotgun, and I thought, wow, that is the coolest way to blind yourself. Dangerous is an understatement for this thing. There's no, no good reason for anybody to own something this powerful. I had to make one for myself, so I did. This is my 40 watt laser shotgun, and it's a really cool build. Let's go over how it works really quickly, and then we'll blow some stuff up. So there's really just four main parts to this laser gun. There's the trigger, there's the battery, the power supply board, and the laser diode head. Well, to start off, I chopped up an old Ruger 1022 rifle stock to hold all the components. The trigger is from a circular saw, and the power supply is just a cheap adjustable current LED driver. I had to check it with an oscilloscope to make sure I wouldn't fry my $400 laser. The laser diode block itself comes from a movie projector, and it consists of eight 5-watt laser diodes. Next, I just welded up a little metal case to cover the laser gun and a little retaining ring to hold it in place. I gave it a little paint job also based on the Hannibal Weapon series in Halo. So what exactly can we do with a 40 watt laser? Well, I've got a pile of smokeless powder over there and let's see if uh, I can light it on fire. Here we go. That works. All right, now let's see what it does to this leaf. Yep, that pretty much burns straight through. This laser is so powerful, even from like three feet away, it makes wood instantly smoke. Wow. Laser diode itself gets super hot also. These small heat sinks might not be enough to keep it cool if I hold it down for a long time. Is this how laser cowboys are gonna act cool in the future? They're gonna shoot off their gun and then just cool off the heat sinks really quick? So yeah, laser rifle, pretty awesome. But you know what else is pretty awesome? I don't know if you noticed, but I got these new Backyard Scientist t-shirts that I printed. I was gonna advertise them on my website, but there's a problem. My website kind of sucks right now. I even got a call from my manager and he's like, Kevin, I've got to break it to you. Your website sucks. Personally, I think you should just go with Wix. So I says to him, I says, Brad, you are a magnificent human being. Please tell me more about this Wix of which you speak. And he says, Wix is a free platform that allows you to build highly customizable professional and yes, robust website. So I'm like, that sounds pretty scripted. Yeah, that sounds scripted. That's what you need to say in the shout out. Oh yeah, that's right. Wix is a free platform that allows you to build highly customizable, robust, and yes, professional websites. It's also super easy to get started building a new website. Let me show you. Just go up here and click on build a new website. You don't even need to know what kind of website you want to build. You can either jump right into it or answer a couple questions and Wix will give you a website that's well on its way to being done. So let's try that. What do you want to create a website for? How about best science YouTuber? What's this? Related results, Cody's lab? Oh. Adding new features to the website is as simple as drag and drop. Let me show you how easy it is just to pull my Instagram feed and put it on the website. So go over on the sidebar and you click add, then let's find the social tab. All right, and then here we go, right here, Instagram feed. Super easy, right? I go to settings, connect to Instagram, Blah, blah, blah. It's good to go. Now you've got all my newest photos right there. If you want to make your own website, click on the link below or go to Wix.com and get started building your website today. Plus, a good looking website is a total chick magnet. Not a valid talking point, not on brand. I beg to differ. Now that we know how the laser gun works, it's time to find out some fun stuff to do with it. Thankfully, my friend Nick Householder is in town. Nick and I were on the TV show Street Science together, and now that that's over, he has his own YouTube channel where he makes his own experiments. That's right, I'm the engineer that builds things. Yeah, so what do you think we can do with this laser? I don't know, I feel like just popping balloons is a little boring, so I say we make a game out of it. Turn it into a game, I like it. Something with uh, laser balloon skeet shooting? I like that idea, let's do it. Let's get started. Nick and I thought it would be fun to make a laser shooting gallery. So he's behind the fence with 10 balloons and whoever can shoot the most out of 10 wins. Pull. Nice. Here we go. Pull. 
That's it? <laughs> Alright, so I missed two. Two out of ten. Two out of ten ain't bad. You only missed one. I missed one. Dang it. That was no. awesome. Congratulations, Nick. You beat me in the shooting gallery by one. Thank good you, game. Sir. Thank you, sir. It was good. good. Game. What is this? This is, well, it's a bunch of balloons and then a balloon that explodes at the end. Like, I guess the farther away you are from the laser, the longer it takes to burn it. So maybe we'll see a difference between these. Like, the first couple will pop really fast and then might get slower or it might just go laser through them all at once and then this thing will just go boom. I'm hoping it's all at once. That'd be cool. All right, let's try it. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, here I go in three, two, one. Wow. Two, one. Wow. That was pretty fast, but I wasn't exactly on the balloon. All right, so oh, do you see all the rain coming down? All right, so there's a killer drone following you and you need to take it out. That's what the laser rifle's for. Ready? <laughs> I'd say that that worked. Now, just because I'm curious, uh, do you want to take the stuff off the bottom? <laughs> yes, so! Yes, so! It works! It works! It still flies, except for the propeller's a little bit molten, I think. Hold on. Everybody, watch your shins. Here we go. <laughs> All right, right now Nick's at a hill about a mile away and then he's gonna shine this laser over here so we can see what it looks like coming through the sky at nighttime. Definitely don't do this at home. All right, are you ready? A little more to your right, a little bit more, a little bit, whoa, yeah, that's right at us. Let me see if I can see it on the, on the camera screen. Nice, this is insane. I'm shining the laser from a mile away and Kevin can see it. So now shine it like straight up in the air. And now come straight down towards us slowly. Wow, wait, hold on, I'm gonna move over a little bit. <laughs> that was my phone, it just fell. All right, do you see the light? I see you, you want me to come down on you and light up the marsh behind you? All right, here we go. Wow, dude, you're lighting up the whole place behind me. This is really cool. You can see the beams all the way to Kevin. Hold on, let me turn the camera around so they can see the marsh. That was insane. From over a mile away, Kevin can see that laser beam, and it's bright enough that he needs to wear protective eyewear. If you were to be shining this at a plane, it'd probably be blind to it. That was awesome. Yes, I know you really liked the drone. It was so, so cool. Did I. That was such a big fireball, and yeah. uh, I now feel more prepared in the event of apocalypse. Yeah, that drone survived also, so maybe not too prepared. Maybe not as prepared as I was. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't believe you beat me at my own laser game. Well, if you want to see a rematch, I built a remote control laser turret and another laser balloon popping game over on my channel. It's really cool. Check it out. I'll put the link down below in the description and you can check out the card at the end of the video. His laser turret's a lot of fun. And yeah, be the best man win at the laser turret game. All right, see you there, Kevin. See you there.